the applications of liquid pressure. First is a dam, building a dam. Now you will find that um, the if you build a dam, okay, the lower part of the dam is built thicker compared to the upper part. Uh, that is because the lower part of the dam need to withstand withstand a higher pressure because the deeper into the water, the higher the pressure, right? Deeper, okay, higher pressure. And the higher pressure, then we need to build the dam thicker to withstand the higher pressure. Another thing that you need to know is the, the generator is put at the bottoms. It's not here, okay? The generator is put at the bottoms. Uh, that is because the pressure here is the highest, eh? highest. Uh, so the generator is placed at the lower part so that the pressures of the water is high enough to drive the turbine. The, the, uh, the turbine. Pressure, it depends on the depth. Uh, the deeper into the liquid, the higher the pressure. So th th that's why, okay? Here the pressure is higher. We need a thicker wall to withstand the higher pressure. The, the generator is put here because the higher pressure, okay, uh, can generate higher voltage uh, of electricity. Submarine. For submarines, in deep sea, uh, the pressures of the water is uh, very, very high, tremendously high. So the body, the bodies of the submarine uh, is very thick and uh, it's built by strong material. Even it's built by a strong materials uh, and very thick, uh, but there's a limit. Okay, there's a limit. Uh, they say uh, this submarine, maybe it can sink up to uh, 50 meter or maybe 100 meter. It cannot sink deeper than the limit. Uh. If it sink deeper than the limit, then it will crack. So when building submarine, we must use a strong material and uh, the, the wall of the submarine must be very thick. Water tower. Uh, water tower is built at high place so that the water has sufficient pressure to flow to consumer's house. Okay, you can see here. Yeah? So we need to build a tower and then this a tank is put at a high place. Eh? Preferably, this is built on a, this, uh, uh, a high place like a hill, okay, a hilltop, so that the the water okay, can flow, has enough pressure to flow to the consumer's house. Water tower is on high place, yes, preferably uh, on high place, but if, if it's not on a high place, then you see, this tank uh, is put at a high place, right? We have a, this, uh, this stand here to support it at a high place. That is to increase the pressure, the water pressure. And then we need the pump to pump the water up. Eh? We need the pump to pump the water up. Okay. And then the water pressure itself will move the water down and send it to the consumer's house. Uh, you see, if the if the water tower is at a high place, okay, then the pressure here, okay, let's say you have a pipe, the pressure here will be very high. Because it's uh, because if the tank is at a high place, uh, so then this will be very deep, right? This will be very deep, and the pressure here is very high. So if you have a pipe here, okay, so the pressure here will, is very high, and then it can send the water to the consumer's house easily. If you just uh, put the tank here, then the pressure here will be very low. Uh, intravenous transfusions, okay. So for intravenous transfusions. Uh, the bottles, uh, this four, okay, you don't need to have this four, okay, transfusions. Eh? The bottle is hung at an elevated position. Eh? So normally this bottle is higher than uh, the patient's, okay? It's at a elevated position to ensure that the liquid in the bottles, you don't have this at four, okay? In the bottles, gain sufficient pressure to flow into the vein of the patient's. So if the patient is uh, sleeping here, then uh, these bottles must be higher than the patient's uh, so that it has uh, enough pressure to send the liquid into the patient's body.